One of the challenges that there is, is the timelines for this process. So already to, to create this therapy, uh, tumor infiltrated lymphocytes without the preselection for neoantigens, you, you would take some time to expand the pills and create the product and infuse it back to the patient. But this is normally around one month. One month is already some time for metastatic patients. But the problem with the neoantigen reactive T cells and this process that I've explained is that it takes minimum three months. So this is a big challenge because of course patients cannot be uh, three months without any treatment. So normally we do start uh, to mitigate this. We do start an intermediate treatment in the middle, what we call a bridge therapy in order for the patient to be able to receive some kind of treatment while he's waiting for the product. This is a mitigating strategy, but it also brings some challenges because of course, some patients, when they start receiving another therapy, then they like to progress. They are not anymore in a clinical condition to receive the product after progression. So, I mean, there, there are some challenges that while they are overcome, it doesn't necessarily mean that all the patients that are starting this bridge therapy will be in a clinical situation to receive TILS after the progression to this therapy. So this leaves uh, an uncertainty. And then what um, what is also being published and we are also experiencing is patients with checkpoint inhibitors are also, um, the, the TILS are less reactive. So we, we are seeing how this uh, really um, what this really means as it's something that we're working in the lab to see if we can shorten the times and see how we can um, select these um, this, uh, this patients that have more new antigen reactive T cells.